Thank you so much for sticking with us. This is still why in the morning. As always, it's a pleasure being with you today on this fine Thursday morning. My name is Ram Magu. conversation of the day and this is all about sport on tech let's take a look at what people are doing to in terms of innovation in the country today and uh, on this fine uh, thursday morning i am with uh, one uh, individual that is trying to you know make things move this is uh, mark murangiri he is a student and an innovator yeah thanks how are you doing i'm good how are you feeling I'm feeling good. Um, let's, for somebody who's meeting you for the first time, tell us uh, 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 something a bit more about what you do and uh, 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 why you chose particularly tech. Uh, I'm mostly in uh, what I like, things concerning machine learning and artificial intelligence, mm. uh, which I actually started when I was young, like when I was in primary school. But during our time, we used to be keen when we try to tamper with electricity and such things like those. Mm -hmm. uh, though I was much inspired to continue with the, to be in tech industry, uh, I started attending some conferences like that of Young Scientist Kenya, which was being held at KCC, KICC. Uh, that's the time that I reached in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where I got more inspired of making uh, automating machines. That, uh, that's the place I've been introduced to microcontrollers such as Arduinos at Raspberry Pis, which can make um, uh, different machines to move. Mm -hmm. uh, later, I joined a uh, campus in Melbourne National Polytechnic, where I met them being champion in robotic. Uh, I joined the team, I became the chairman in robotic, and I was much inspired to work on robotic. Uh, is that a club or something? Yeah, it was a club uh, for robotic. Robotic I could, club? Yeah, well, robotic club. Okay. Yeah, we pushed on, but I was not feeling well because uh, for the robotic club, they used to be giving instruction what to do. Mm -hmm. And me as an innovator, sometimes I used to sleep and tomorrow I've been a week, waking up and start thinking something different. Mm -hmm. I was to improve or to advance a, a certain thing which have been made. So I left Robotic Club, I started innovating my own projects. Uh, I've innovated different types of projects, mm -hmm. uh, but mostly I look f uh, in society and see what they are lacking. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the first project uh, which I used using uh, microcontroller was uh, for, to remind people to take medicine, mm -hmm. which was automatic medicine reminder. Uh, which acting so, like an alarm, or like a, like a, um, a phone? Yeah, alarm. Yeah, okay. uh, which used to remind you with a beep sound, and also used to send a message to remind you to take medicine. Okay, okay. And yeah. and, and before we get I I even into the different projects that yeah. uh, you've uh, managed to do so far, yeah. Um, when it comes to tech, yeah. it's an industry that. Uh, um, we, we rarely talk about. Sure. Yeah, we, very few people talk about matters concerning tech, yeah. and uh, it's only a group of people that are associated with uh, this uh, um, industry. Yeah. Um, why did you choose particularly tech uh, as an area of interest for you? Uh, firstly, I didn't choose. Mm -hmm. It's like I was born in, in tech. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Everything I used to do since I was young mm. was concerning tech. Oh, you you would, you know, be a hands-on person. Yeah, but uh, I think the first person who inspired me to do tech is someone who lied to me. I remember uh, around 2006, 2007, mm -hmm. this time uh, the VTB had a show at our place. So I I saw them and someone lied to me that they are going to hand into the TV. Like I was like, how is that possible? So I was curious about it. So <laughs> yeah, that's why I was around. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was around seven to eight years. Uh, so you're wondering how someone gets in, in inside it, that TV? Yeah, inside that TV. Did you open the TV box? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think uh, when I reached uh, class three or four, there I I tampered with our TV <laughs> and I was very keen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I wanted to know uh, what was transmitting the. What were the signals which were being transmitted, and the receiver signal which were making people to be seeing the TV? 
uh, that made me to tamper in our TV. So it's, it's, it's an area of interest that you grew up in. Yeah. Yeah, it, it kind of grew on you. Yeah, though I was much restricted. Because uh, everybody in the family used to say I'm destroying devices. Because mm -hmm. uh, I used even to buy uh, the small radios and I, okay. I would have destroyed that radio even that day to see was making that the due to oh, uh, now, now let, let, let's take a look at uh, some of the projects that you've managed to do so far yeah you, you you've mentioned the first project yeah. you've you've done yeah maybe you can just mention um, a few of them yeah uh, including the latest yeah that uh, you're working on uh okay uh i'm going to mention the major projects that i've, I've worked on mm -hmm. uh there's a the second one which is major was for automatic portrait management system, uh, which also I competed in Tivet Fair. I was number one in regionals and number one in national, which was held in the whole Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, was concerned on agriculture, which uh, used to help uh, people who are keeping poultry uh, to manage their poultry without stress. Uh, the system, uh, well, the duty of the system was to, the owner had a tank which and to store the food or the fins for the chicken. So the feed would be, uh, would be automated to give, be given to the chicken all the day or to the bands all the day without intervention of anybody. So you can just store your fins there and live for a month or according to the storage. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and that one, I was able to win a trophy in nations level and later congratulations, I, congratulations. Yeah, yeah thanks mm -hmm. and later there's one pro that project uh, i'm working on now mm -hmm. and i've already innovated concerning automatic and care system this is the, this is the latest one. yeah the latest okay uh, i can just say the inspiration of the project uh i got the project from my mom uh my mom she was being diagnosed with cancer mm -hmm. and later she, uh, yeah and later she had been paralyzed. She was not able to walk. And she, wow. yeah, she used to be, to, to be transferred from bed to a chair, from chair to bed. So in, in time she used to walk, mm -hmm. there must be someone who uh, helped her. Well, let's turn up, yeah. Let's turn up. So yeah, she, yeah. she's she, um, currently, in, she, mm. she's fighting that. Yeah, yeah she um, passed away in 2016. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's turn up. Yeah, so, uh. yeah, so, I, I was thinking of, yeah, I, for now, I did think of my mom because she had already passed, but I started thinking of if anyone uh, has that same problem, how can I be able to help? Because, uh, yeah, I think about the society mostly. Mm, wow. uh, yeah. So I thought about that system, um, but I was not able to start the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I tried to, to talk with some people, but most of them discouraged me. They told me things are being imported from China. So if you do one, nobody is going to nobody look on it. To buy yeah. It or, or even fund. It. Yeah. So um, so this project was specifically meant to do what? Uh, it was meant to look for people who are paralyzed, people who are healed, people who are injured, or also people who are old. How does it look for them? Uh, the system is a convertible chair, and the same time you can convert it to be a bed. So it's a way you want to adjust it. If you want it to be a wheelchair, just press the button and it turns to be a wheelchair. If you want to be a bed again, you just press the button and it okay. gets flat. Yeah, okay. it okay. be a. Okay. And also it has some wheels where you can move from one place to another, mm. air control via your phone. Mm. And also I was thinking about automating the also the doors where the patient will be able to open the doors via the phone again. Uh, so that can venture to in the different places and also for folks who want to go for sunbathing. It, it, it looks like one system that you have to synchronize with the, the house. Mm, not should, should you synchronize the, that system together with the house so that they, they, they communicate with each other whereby somebody can be able to open the door from wherever they are electronically? But for the case of the door and the bed are two different things. Yeah, the system, the door is a different thing, and for the uh, for the, uh, the the other system of the bed is different. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So what you just need is a phone, a smartphone, which can be able to open the door, mm -hmm. to open uh, and to move the system. What are some of the challenges that you faced so far when it comes to coming up with uh, these uh, projects and ensuring that they uh, you know, are up and running? I know you've mentioned funding as one of them. Yeah, sure. And, and maybe you can talk a bit more about that. Uh, even the first time I started the project, uh, I feared to ask the school to fund me. That was only on campus? Yeah, for okay. now. Yeah. So I had that fear. And I've not come in a background which is that much supportive. By the way, uh, like for example, I'm the one who took myself to campus. So you paid your own school fees? Yeah, I paid my own school fees, my rent and food. You, you, you're still in campus? Yeah, I'm still in campus. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so to do the project is very hard because uh, it costs me over 50000 What are you doing in campus? Right? Um, I'm, I'm pursuing a diploma in IT. Diploma in IT? Yeah. Uh, um, do you mind mentioning the school also? Uh, pardon? Do you mind mentioning the school? The school? Uh, no, no. Shule? In a, Shule Gani? Uh, my name is National Project. Wow. Yeah. Be, 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 uh, a shout out to, to those guys who are, uh, who are there. You're doing a good job. Yeah, so getting funds was a problem because you have yeah. to pay school fees yeah. and also support your projects at the same time. Sure. Mm. So, okay, the, the school was that supportive, but I feared to ask for them because most of the people I met, I told them about the project, they actually discouraged me. Mm. But I feared, the school would support me, but I feared to ask them for the support and I failed. Though I say that I'm going to take a risk. I looked Did for, you? Yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the school, actually, b b before I took the risk, the school gave me uh, some opportunities to move uh, outside in Kenya. Uh, they gave me two opportunities, so I used to save those money. So every time I would travel outside in Kenya, I used to save the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I knew I had to do something. And yeah. yeah, something which is unique. Uh, that's where I got the money. I started doing the projects. Uh, I, did, I made the first step. Mm. I showed to our different teachers. They are much encouraged. But I continue up to the last point where I showed them the full project, the machine moving from one place to another, and they were much encouraged. Even I showcased to the to the our legislator, to our, our deputy principal, mm. who actually introduced me to the principal. And the principal was able to see the project. Uh, the principal was new at that time. He came, I think, last month. Mm. So he was very convinced. And uh, I was also being given the opportunity to present the project to Innovation Week, which is being held at Salit. Wow. Yeah. Good job, man. Yeah, thanks. Good job. That, yeah. The echo. Man. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. Yeah, I'm humble. <laughs> and and, and uh, you need support from people. Uh, you need that um, encouraging uh, a group behind you yeah. that can, you know, motivate you even when you feel like giving up. Yeah, sure. um, do, do, who are some of the people that have, you know, encouraged you and motivated you and, uh, 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 you know, uh, cheered you on and then told you, you know, keep going and, you know, I'm uh, particularly Motisha uh, Before... I go to people, mm. I would like to say that life has strengthened me. Mm. Uh, because uh, when my mom passed, life became hard for me. And I was very, it was very hard to cope with life. So I had struggled. I even, there's a time I thought of even committing suicide. Because my mom has passed, she was the one who was taking care of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when she had already passed, I don't have any place to go. That time, it was very hard for me. But I was asking God, how am I going to do, to make it? But later, some people who are my cousin just uh, helped me. I, I was not even thinking of going to high school anyway. My mom passed uh, before, I, okay, I joined high school, but I, was, I, I didn't have someone to pay the f uh, fee. The fee. Yeah, so I left the school again. I started being at home. Uh, that was in 2015. Uh, 20, when it reached 2016, there were some people who were my cousin mm -hmm. uh, helped me. To, so they asked me if I want to continue with a high school or I want to go for a course. But 
I wanted there's something I want to pursue. So I told them I want to continue the school. And you, uh, went, and you went back to school? Yeah, I went back to school. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where I joined uh, TMX. Uh, I remember uh, in primary I scored very poor because that's why my mom was very paralyzed. So all the time I was in high school, uh, in primary I used to think about my mom. I used to think about my mom like she's sick. How I have can to, you help? Yeah, you I want to go. I want to hurry. Yeah, I want to hurry and go and help her to do one, two, three. Uh, so I didn't manage to perform well. So I joined Butia Mixed when I went to I I went to Moyare. Yeah, I joined Butia Mixed, and so many people were surprised. How did you come to Moyare? But I says God. Later, I transferred to Moyare Boys which uh, was a national school. At the time I went to Buti, I realized who I am. So I started having that. Uh, I was very hard working. So I transferred to Moyale Boys. Still, I was very hard working. I used to top all the time. Mm. Uh, but I, when, I, when I reached from, I, I topped up to Form 3. I was number one ever. But when I reached Form 4, I got some discouragement like, I'm not able to continue anymore. So I used to ask myself, why am I continuing the, these studies and I'm not going to campus, things like those. Mm. So I, I, I started being a kind of lazy, I don't study, I have a lot of stress, things like those. You, you did not believe you would go to campus? Yeah, I didn't believe. Uh, you, you, you felt like you're not giving up? Yeah. But mm. uh, so even at a little point, I didn't study some subjects. Because I used to ask myself. So the other subject I used to study for fun, like which was uh, physics, chemistry, and geography. And look at how <laughs> physics is, 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 is helping yeah, you I, now. I, even huh? I, in, our, in our school, I was number one in physics and mm. in geography. Now I, it's I, doing I, you well. <laughs> yeah. Later, I did my KCSC, and uh, I was uh, one of the happiest students ever. Because I didn't my, I thought if I would, I would leave, I would reach that point. Mm -hmm. Uh, but when the uh, when the results were how its principal was not that uh, happy, and even our pastor was not happy, so they asked me to repeat. But I, did, I, I, I didn't want to repeat because I wanted just to go out there and start doing something new. Because okay. uh, yeah, because I, I knew I, I'm not going to continue the campus. Now, where do you see yourself um, in, in in the next? Uh, season or um, one, two, three, five years with the projects that uh, you're managing. Do you have uh, future plans that maybe you, um, you're, you're, you're having within your you know, itinerary? Yeah, my future plans started at the time I, I finished high school. Uh, I remember I joined a uh, missionary. I mm. started preaching uh, the gospel of Christ. Uh, but in, back there, uh, I wanted to have something like an orphanage. But I knew if you want to have something like this, you have to work hard. You have to work extra hard. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to depend on people. Mm -hmm. But uh, still, I was in, I, my mind also was in tech. As I used to preach the word of God, I was in tech still. Uh, it reached a point, I went to a job somewhere. I got a lot of money. I didn't, I didn't have any place to take the money. I joined campus. So, I started thinking about the tech. So because uh, the campus was uh, motivating people who are in tech, uh, who are doing tech, mm. uh, I started thinking of having a company which produces things, uh, like a tech, uh, tech machines, mm. so to avoid importation. You see, like, like, a, like, like an industry yeah. that, where you can do your own manufacturing yeah. in the country. Yeah. So it's a dream that you started having back in, in high school, yeah. and you're still having that dream till now. Yeah, till now. Yeah, because uh, as you can see, sometimes you import some small mm. things from China, which mm. I see there's no reason. Mm. Yeah, which we can be able to, to manufacture them. Here uh, in the country? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's so many have, things. Have you managed to interact with people who, you know, are in the tech industry that can be able to, that can be able to you know, um, sponsor what you're doing in a way or two? Uh, people who I actually meet are people who are just, who gives promises which are... They don't uh, meet. Yeah, they never meet. 
Yeah. Same story, man. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, mm. I do things stylishly. Mm. Uh, I know if you depend on people, sometimes they might frustrate you. Mm. So I, I said, let me continue pressing on. I want to give you time to talk to somebody who's watching you today. Uh, mm. There are some youths that want to get into tech. Yeah. They love technology. They sure. love getting their hands dirty. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're watching at home. They're watching you at home. Sure. Maybe a piece of advice for them yeah. as we bring this conversation to a close. Yeah. Uh, closing remarks. Uh, yeah. That your camera you can talk to your people there. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would like to talk to people who are like I actually talk. I uh, see they are beginners. Uh, sometimes they uh, they have difficulties to start uh, to start innovating, or they see it's very costly. But one one thing I know about uh, this tech is about passion. Because uh, uh, if you want to do anything, it's it must come from your heart. Like for me, the time I started innovation, it mm. came from my heart. Okay. And I did it without depending on people. I say that I have to press on. So if there's someone back there who truly needs to start the tech, this is the right time to start. Because uh, we want to s try to evaluate some things, some importation of some things. And I know, uh, like an example, like people in rural areas, I met so many people who have good brains, good ideas, but they fear to bring them out because they fear that frustration or something else. But that frustration is the one that which strengthened me and the same which have made me to be here. Oh. Yeah. Mr. Mark, I wish you the best. Yeah, thanks. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. Keep yeah. going. And one thing that I love is you did not give up even on yourself. Yeah. Even at a time when you doubted yourself and people, people doubted you, kept yeah. on going. Yeah, thanks. I wish you the best, my brother. Yeah, okay, Keep I'm doing what you're doing. Yeah. And of course, good luck. Okay, okay, thanks. And uh, that brings us to the end of this particular discussion right here. And that brings us to the end of Why in the Morning this fine Thursday uh, morning. My name is Ram Maguko. It has been a pleasure being with you today. And of course, uh, I want to say a big thanks to everybody that ensured this show was a success to, from our technical team, sound, uh, 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 camera persons, to all the way to our production team there at the gallery, producers, directors, everybody. Thank you so much for the work you're doing and you from home. Thank you for, tun uh, for tuning in to Why in the Morning. It has been a pleasure. My name is Ram Maguko. As I said earlier on, may God bless you. May God bless the work of your hands. Keep it Y in the morning. Keep it Y254. Have a blessed day.